party come move around like the fresh fresh when the school is out when the booze is up when the sun is down the enjoy the ride that's what we lose in the Chevy hey, hey, just like a ballet low in the Chevy hey, hey, take your time let me know when you're ready hey, hey, hello hello welcome back to beauty kitty studios i am pretty excited to show you guys these nails they are a lot better than i thought they would be um so they only come with the sticky tabs i will not be using those i like to use liquid glue so first i like to start with nail prep for all of my nail videos every time i do my nails i do nail prep these supplies don't come with the nails, they only come with the double-sided sticky tabs. All of these items you need to get separately, but they are super affordable and I always provide links to those in the information section of each video. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I try to respond as quickly as I can. So I, I always start by gently pushing back the cuticles and then I file the sides and the tips. And then I gently buff the nails and then I wipe them down with rubbing alcohol. And all of these do have a reason. They all have a purpose. Usually like the best thing is that it helps your nails last a lot longer. Um, like buffing the nails and the rubbing alcohol. Buffing helps give your adhesive something to hold on to. And then the rubbing alcohol helps remove any residual natural oils that may be on your nails. That can break up the glue and if you really want them to last even longer double up on the last two steps I show you so buffing the nails and wiping down with rubbing alcohol try that step twice and your nails should last you know honestly about two weeks all right so now I'm gonna apply the nails I am using kiss uh, Power Flex liquid glue. I really like this stuff. This one tiny bottle has lasted me at least at least five sets so far and it's still not empty. My video is sped up but I'm just gently dabbing the glue and it comes out perfect. If you squeeze it, it kind of comes out a little bit too fast. So I'm just dabbing, kind of tapping it on each nail. I then take the nail and apply starting from the cuticle along the length of the nail so I can watch the glue to make sure it spreads evenly. So I'm trying to show you the shape of these nails around the cuticles. It has this really nice little curve to the nail that I absolutely love and it actually makes them fit quite a bit better. Unfortunately my middle fingers are crooked a little bit. Um, so it does make pretty much any press on kind of difficult, but I'm going to show you a trick for that. So with clear nails, when the nail doesn't fit perfectly, you can kind of see that little pocket where the glue isn't attaching to the nail because it doesn't line up. So I flip the nail upside down and in that gap, I actually fill that back fill it with glue. And then it fills in the space perfectly. You don't get those little bubbles that you can see. And it helps them to stay on quite a bit longer that way. I am going to add a link to one of my other videos. Uh, it's one of my more recent videos and it has a lot of tricks to getting your nails to stay on longer, usually two weeks or more. Um, things to avoid and things to try to do and I'll cover a little bit of that here. So one of the main things is first of all nail prep um, but then try to avoid getting your hands wet after doing press on nails. Try to avoid at least an hour um, of any sort of creams, oils, water, soaps, things like that. You know when you go to a salon they often will have you wash your hands afterwards press on isn't the same so even though the glue does bond quickly it doesn't necessarily mean it's drying fully so that could take a little bit longer 
and things like liquid soaps oils creams lotions all of that can get in there and slowly break up your glue or make it harder for it to fully dry or dry evenly so that's another big thing to avoid um, after doing press-ons you'll often see me use cuticle oil at the end of a video but sets like these that i want to last two weeks or more i actually avoid the cuticle oil an hour after doing the nails and these definitely stayed on so it has been a, i think a week and a half since i first filmed this and i still actually have these nails on and they still look exactly the same except for a little bit of grow out because my nails grow freakishly fast <laughs> we even just went through this horrible heat wave so i had to live in the pool like a fabulous mermaid and the nails still didn't come off, didn't pop off, didn't get loose, nothing like that in a pool full of chemicals. So they definitely stay on. Follow those tips on how to get them to last longer. I definitely recommend these. I will be getting them again. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. If you like what you see, please subscribe and follow for more fun videos. Sweating in the pool. That's how warm it is here. Literally, this is sweat in a pool. Yeah. Llama. The no drama llama corn. Just a big ol' ooh, smile, just by all your valid ways. Enjoy the ride, that's what dealers in the Chevy.